Hello and welcome back to Operations of Void. This is Verizon Void, your host, and this week we are doing Raptor Rescue. The ship I'm using is Massachusetts, as you can see, and it's a solo. There's no team members. If you want to see my build for Massachusetts, go ahead and look at this video here. Uh, it has the uh, it's show another video showcasing the Massachusetts and it has my build uh, and what for commander skills and modules. Anyways, why I'm not starting like not usual is because this is Raptor Rescue, which lasts all the time. Lasts too long. And, and so Raptor Rescue because it has a bunch of different endings it can end sooner or later like the if it ends at ed1 then it will end less than 20 minutes but if it ends at a1 or j1 then it takes um, 19 minutes total for it to end and as you can see i'm joking around in chat so raptor rescue the first wave is easy. It always comes in the same way. As you can see, we're detected from the destroyer. Atlanta uses its radar and detects the Shiatsu Yu just as it, uh, it shoots. So we're going to go ahead and put our uh, secondaries on Shiatsu Yu. We're not going to use our main guns because the Massachusetts does not have good main gun accuracy. It's bad. Uh, past uh, 10 kilometers it becomes very much like a shotgun and so we're gonna go for the ABBA and uh, we get the pity Dell 7,000 damage out of the uh, 13,000 how much is it then yeah 13,100 for a Citadel could have been worse. Could have been only a thousand. Oh no, we're taking fire. So since we're going to be taking the fire, I don't have uh, a prior target, so I don't know who he's looking at. Since we're going to be taking the fire, we might as well turn in. And this allows us to... Um, we're angling our armor to make it more difficult for Fuso to pen. And... Uh, if we show our nose, then it absolutely cannot pen because it has 356 millimeters. So it cannot overmatch anything over 25 millimeters. And since I'm still detected with only 18 uh, kilometer gun range, I can know that's the bots are the next wave of cruisers is coming from the north they can come from the north or the south and the cruiser can either turn to go north there's one cruiser the Mogami I believe can either turn to go north or go south and you don't know until uh, you see and there's someone pinging because they want someone to take care of the southern carrier Uh, the southern carrier used to be a Hosho. And when it was tier 6, the Hosho was no threat. <laughs> Your AK was fine against the Hosho planes. And now that they're both Shokakus, both Shokakus, like this t southern one, if it was a Ryujo, it would have been the same uh, no threat. But it's a Shokaku. And the Shokakus are both... Uh, buffed when you're against tier 8s. So not only did it go up a tier with planes, they also have increased penetration, increased damage, and uh, all that. Increased HP. I think the planes might even have uh, increased HP. Because they have all that, the uh, Shokaku is actually a threat to players. Oh wow, we actually got it. 
good hit against the Mogami from all the way over here. That is very much an RNG thing with these shells. Now we should fire, but it's not like our shells are going to... Um, survive that long. So what we're doing now is we're going to stay in front of the Raptor. We're moving to up to uh, kind of very screen. So first there's going to be a couple destroyers. And since we have the good secondaries, we might as well use them against the destroyers. Uh, also, this kind of helps with uh, seeing if there's going to be cruisers up north. So because it's a, a southern spawn, you're either going to have the cruisers are going to spawn and cruisers and a battleship. So it's a south pass. So you're either going to get two cruisers at B1, a cruiser and a battleship at B1, or you're going to get uh, a battleship and a destroyer at um, J6, or a little bit actually uh, K6. It's not on the map, but K6. Here I'm detected. I don't know if it's the destroyers or the cruisers. I have HE loaded for the uh, destroyers. And so I'm, I'm kind of waiting for the destroyers, expecting them. And then cruisers pops up. So now I know that it's going to be cruisers up there. So I swapped to armor piercing, but a little bit too late. I should have just fired the high explosive. Might have been able to take out a torpedo tube or a gun turret. So we're guessing there, and that's why I should have uh, done high explosive first, because then I would have had nine shells towards them instead of just the three that missed. But here we're using the island so that the cruisers can't shoot us at us. Because the cruisers, they have... Uh, they have 34 millimeter pens because they're all heavy cruisers. And so the 32 millimeters of armor all over, that's not going to protect us from their fire. At least when it was tier 6, you could have the Fuso and if it, with uh, 39 millimeters of deck armor, you had some protection. Especially when you had... Uh, also, you all had... Kumas? A lot more Kumas in there. So you had light cruisers too. thing about the Kumas is the 140 millimeters, yes, it doesn't have as much pen, um, but it is a much better fire starter. And I see the kudos off there is positioned to uh, go for broadside shots. But the Alba turns in, so it's not in a good position for the uh, Alba. Sure, you can use a, a high explosive, but it's better against the uh, Miyoko there, which you saw one salvo just halved it, and then the torpedoes finished it off. And that's why we went out after the Alba. So using the advantages of the uh, of your allies to choose what to shoot and kind of force the teamwork without communicating. And I see that we have uh, the cruisers, northern spawn, so I will start moving as soon as the AA takes as many of the bombers out. He 
you see that 8,000? That means either it was three penetration or some non-pens in a citadel. Most likely it was three penetrations, which still hurts. But now that they don't have full squadron anymore, I don't really have to worry about bombs. Because without full squadrons, it's going all the planes are going to be deleted before they can have a chance to attack. However, the next squadron is torpedoes. So I kind of have to watch those planes. And so I'm sitting here because I actually have the AA. Uh, unlike, I have the AA and I have the defense. Uh, and here I miss. The guy who thought they w it would turn and go towards the Kudozov. And so I pressed the wrong side. So now the AA is less effective. It's only 50% on the side the torpedoes are on. But at the same point, I have my secondaries so that they can fire on the Shokaku and the Mogami at the same time. Our DCP is available so even if we got hit by the torpedoes it wouldn't be too bad. And there we go. Mogami is down. And see here we are. We're at a position where they can't really shoot us until they get much closer. But now they're all here. And this allowed us to kind of have some time to reload between the cruisers. When you're actually in a cruiser, this is the best place you want to be. because this will allow you to get the broadsides of the cruisers as they're going through. But this is battleship run, so this kind of gets us. And the reason why we're not too worried about the Yahagi is because it has uh, the smaller guns. But what the Yahagi also has is torpedoes. So we get to take a torpedo from the Yahagi as we're flooding. Hopefully we get one more salvo off on this uh, Otago. Which we do. Bring it down to 1300 HP. So now all that's left on the board is the Otago and the uh, carrier in the south. And since we now have three dead, three uh, three players down, there will be no teleport spawns. If I had survived, then they would have spawned in one at a time. But since both of them are, uh, since three people are dead, there's no teleport spawns. So I know the ranger is safe. I know that I don't have to worry about that. All we have to worry about is the Shokaku going down for that last star, which we have the new armor piercing only Russian cruiser over there taking it out and there's a Fubuki over there so as long as the Fubuki doesn't come in range we're safe but since we have a bunch of players and they like they see the red blood in their eyes they're going to go for the Fubuki as the Russian cruiser does its best to eat all t the torpedoes. Oh, he survived. Nearly, uh, barely dodging the second torpedo as he's trying to get his guns off. So, this is a this is Raptor Rescue. We're just going ahead and skip to the end. Uh, this is Raptor Rescue North Route Cruisers with a battleship. So you kind of guess. If you're running in a battleship, the issue with this is uh, if it wasn't North Cruisers, it would have been 
um, the North battleships, then you would have had to bow on tank uh, two battleships and two cruisers without much place to hide. And so that wouldn't, we would have had to go up for an island for that. If it had been south exit, we would have just gone on south after uh, mostly taking care of the uh, carrier because then we would have need to go south to help out with the battleships that spawn in the south. So that's kind of why we positioned our, our place where we are because when you're right at where the uh, destroyers come in, then you can go pretty much anywhere on the map and not really be out of place. And so as you see, we have 200k damage by being in good positioning with six kills, 271 secondaries. It's very much a secondary ship. Eight citadels because RNG blessed us this day. And we're at top of the team with nearly 2k base XP, even though we sunk at the end. On we got one of the Shokakas, we didn't touch the other Shokaka. And as you see, our secondary battery, we actually got 70k damage with that. Not much on fires, we didn't set many fires. Because the bots all DCP their fires and you want them dead as quickly as possible, I build this with IFHE instead of uh, uh, going with using them as fire starters. So this allows us to get actual damage out of our secondaries. And yeah, we received 100k damage. We probably could have had more, but uh, we were taken down too quickly, I guess. So, And then premium count with uh, greens. So this is what we actually made using just greens and a premium count. Anyways you have any questions about this or you want to new see a ship run or you want to see uh, a certain opera played in a specific tile and style let me know in the comment section below if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos go ahead and click that subscribe button otherwise I hope to see you again next week have a good one